What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there's an exciting new plant available for early access. It's the Sundew Tangler. Let's unlock it because I already got it. Uh, this costs 100. It's a sun-based plant though, an enlightenment plant. Uh, the plant food ability and tangle multiple zombies across the board to temporarily trap them and produce sun. Uh, seemingly innocuous, Sundew Tangler can spring up under unsuspecting zombies on her tile, trapping them and leeching them to produce sun. The special, Sundew Tangler can trap a zombie and use it to block other enemies from advancing while periodically producing sun as it leeches the trapped zombie. Uh, I've come to chew bubblegum and drain zombies and I'm all out of bubblegum. Uh, so we'll see. This is kind of an offensive uh, enlightenment plant. I don't know that there's too many of those, uh, but we will see how this works. Of course, we're going to take the Sundew Tangler uh, across some of the different eras. See what we can do with her. I don't know for sure, uh, but we're going to drop into adventure right now. And uh, by the way, thanks for returning to this series. Things in my personal life have been really, really busy lately. Um, I think we're going to have some great videos this year, though. This is one of them. <laughs> Uh, no, but but that's why I've been kind of falling a little bit behind on Plants vs. Zombies 2. I've not given up this game. I've never, ever given up this game unless I just stop, you know, adding content to it. But that would be a terrible day. Uh, we're going to drop into day 23 here of Ancient Egypt just to see what Sundew Tangler can pull off. I'll bring in other stuff too. Uh, but Sundew Tangler is probably going to be... I'm saying it right, correct? We'll see what happens here. Scrolling all the way down. Uh, the Sundew Tangler. I got it right. And then, uh, since it's an enlightenment plant, you know, we're talking about probably bringing in the enlightenment then. I will also bring in just some other sun production type things, including the, um, ooh, where is it? Where, oh, how about, how about this guy, the solar sage? Why not? That, like, that is kind of offensive too, because it actually transforms a zombie into something else. So that's something to consider. Maybe the gold bloom. Maybe we just uh, also bring in mushrooms just in case we need those. And then as backup, we want to bring in like a really puny plant. Maybe this. I don't know. Let's rock with this and see what, what happens. Because I am concerned, curious, all that stuff. There you go. There you go. Sundew Tangler, we're going to start dropping them in in the very front. I, I want to see what happens. It's a little slow to recharge. Slower than I would like. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have plenty of sun. What happens here? Let's get a close look at what Sundew Tangler can pull off. Tangle them, and then as it attacks, we are looking at... Uh, it's fading away a little bit. That's interesting. It's taking the zombie. It's making sun. Okay. Does it attack another one, or is it... It's seriously just fading away from existence, like back to the future or something. <laughs> um, so that zombie walked right over it. So let's just keep up. You know, this... Oh, well, it's back. Okay, so what was the fade for? Was the fade just genuinely like, hey, you're not really a, we don't want to use it too often. <laughs> we just want to, I may not be able to, to do a lot of uh, the, these things. I should have imitated it really. All right, he's going to make a bunch of, of things. Here we Let's see what happens if I use uh, plant food on this. Tangled a bunch of them. There you go. Big hugs all around. Sandstorm happening. They go right past them, of course. That's something to consider as well. Um, see what the, what happens with these plant food. I mean, not the, not plant food. The the uh, yeah. I mean, this is just the thing, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. Here, go ahead. Man, Solar Sage is level seven. I think it's gonna recharge faster than this uh, this Tangler here. Now, I am having difficulty. Meaning, I have a lot of these here. Of course, these are probably susceptible to flames. This may not have been the best choice. How come did they stop? He just stopped grabbing him after a while. That's so weird. Can, okay, so here, let's try a group group hug. All right, that's. I mean, you know, this it look on its own. It's just like okay. Try again, another another group hug, including that zombie at the top. There, we finally got him. Uh, let's just drop this down because we are. This is not like a, I mean, it's a sun producing plant, sort of. I mean, it produces sun when it does this. There are other better options for producing sun, but at the same time, it's not gonna be the most offensive plant there there is, no matter how much I want it to be. Here, go ahead and refresh, refresh it all. Here, why not just drop another one in there? There you go. Let's consider another group hug in a second here. Boom. How many are you going to grab? You're going to grab two of them for the moment. 
Okay, so he slipped out of the grasps of that one at the bottom. So what happens is they, you know, they grab for a little while, then they're like, nah, my arms are tired, I'm letting you go. Now, of course, this is interesting. This is this is why I like taking this across different eras. The guy with the fire, his name eludes me right now, but the guy with the fire did not at all uh, burn this plant. That's interesting because typically that fire will burn every plant. So you're gonna grab him. You're gonna grab him. There you go. There's a big hug right there. Now will it hug gargantuars? That's a big question that I have. Of course, that one didn't do the trick yet. Um. Let's see how many, you know, the, the bucket heads are going to have to go through that. Will the Gargantuar hit this or not? I, I'm curious. You can actually see the, the Tomb Tangler, I'm not the Tomb, the tomb Tangler, but the whatever Tangler, through <laughs> through through the Gargantuar. The, the Gargantuar, so the Gargantuar doesn't even hit him. Dude, he's like impervious. Like, he doesn't even do anything. Here, do this. Will you do something to the Gargantuar? No. So the problem is, is that they don't care about the Gargantuars and the Gargantuars don't care about them. So what are we doing here? All right. Big hug at the end. And that's a victory, you know, a very odd victory, but it's a victory. And um, we sure learned a lot. The, 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 the zombies can't seem to even touch them, seemingly, which is cool, which makes it even better than I thought it was because if that was all it was going to do, I'm like, okay, that's not very strong, but it's also seemingly invulnerable. I want to do something, and everyone knows this. Everyone who watches my series when I showcase new plants, they know that I do this. I want to take it to the pirate seas where there's a whole bunch of imps. My guess is the imps will totally swarm them, but walk past them, and we won't be able to take out that many imps with these guys. But I have to see for myself, because sometimes I do get surprised when I take this out to the pirate seas. And this specific stage that I like to take it to is, of course, uh, 7, 20, 22? I think it's 22. I might have, uh, I'm drawing, I don't know why. My brain's messed up. I've been playing a lot of other games. This is it. All right, we got it. <laughs> All right. So we just have a bunch of amps. We have these guys swinging in. Same setup. Well, oh, whoa. Oh, we can't bring in any sun at all. So that, okay. That does make sense. So we can't even showcase it here. So Sun Dude Tankler, you know, we can't even use on this level because we can't use plants that produce sun. Such a shame. But that's another thing, you know, hey, good thing we learned it. What else do we want to showcase with the uh, Sun Dude Tangler? I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about it. But I don't know specifics. Um, you know, while. Uh, let, let's see if they get frozen. Frostbite Caves. We'll take it in there and see if they can get frozen. If they're impervious to zombies, uh, what about the, the freezing capability of some of these zombies? That's a good question that I don't have the answer to, but we will very soon have the answer on day 26. So um, let's see what we got here. This is going to be, I think, really... I don't know. I think this is going to be worthwhile to check out. I don't know what the end result is going to be. I'm curious how they handle f those weasels and ferrets and stuff like that. So I'll bring this in again. This looks fine. I kind of, you know, honestly, I want to imitate it. So let's get rid of the walnut. We don't need the, the walnut. But I do want to imitate it so we can get out as many as possible. And that's typical when I showcase some of these new plants. I mean, I'm just like, let's imitate these because it's a little it's a little much to try to do with just one copy of them. So, uh, you know, the big challenge... Oh, I forgot. The, the biggest challenge is I totally forgot to put in some sort of, you know, heated plants here. My bad. So these are all going to freeze. We might have to redo this eventually, but I just kind of want to see... If these actually freeze themselves, that would be something to note. But I don't know yet. They, they almost don't even make a sound. So let's see. So they're going to grab these guys. Nice hug. All right. Oh, I thought they were ready. Okay, there's one there. And after the hug is over... <laughs> If you can even call it a hug. It's kind of like they just let him go. Like, be on your merry way, please, sir. But he's like, I will. <laughs> Let's put one there. Put one. Is he, is he going to hug him? He's going to hug him, right? Now. Super curious how this is going to work. I don't know. Okay, they're going to hug him. Will, will the... Uh, okay, they're coming out strong here. 
Okay, they're gone. Now, do the weasels break through? Here, I'm just going to use this. Uh, my timing's off on these because for some reason, I'm not sure why, but my timing is off on some of these. So they're getting hugs and everything, and it totally took out the weasel zombie uh, without releasing the weasels, which is really interesting. Let's do a group hug again. And uh, here, just drop a couple of these down. Yeah, man, this is, uh, I mean, relatively effective. Now, he flew over them. That's also something to make note of, is that he just flew off. He just flew over them. Uh, is that Solar Sage going to... No? Okay, that's fine, too. Here. That means he's not going to be hugging the, those guys. So, yeah, this guy... Oh. Oof. So, he's going to... Yeah. Well, at least we know. He's going to eat that mushroom. I don't care about that mushroom. R mostly, I just care about the lawnmower. So, get out of here. I don't want to lose that lawnmower. I don't, I don't want to lose any of the lawnmowers, but, you know, things happen sometimes. Okay, so, I mean, they're still grabbing these these guys holding the weasels. I'm holding on to them. I like that, of course. And he's gone. He's, he's, he's dead without the weasels making much of a much ado about anything. Here we go. They don't, they don't make any sound. They do not add any, like, I mean, like, the when you plant them, they don't make a sound. I do hear their vines wrapping around and everything, but other than that, I'm not hearing any sound. And these guys just fly over them, so it's like they don't even grab them. This is not great, because this uh, lawnmower won't. Here, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shoot them. I'm gonna just have to shoot them, please. I don't want to do it, but I'm having to do it. Man, the top is gone, dude. Here, let's, please, please. Please. Oh, he's gonna make it through. Dang, I tried, the ice blocked it. Uh, so, I mean, some zombies don't even get caught up by the by th that plant, the Sundew Tangler. And that's something that we're learning here. Gargantuars don't get caught up by them, but also Gargantuars don't even take them out. So that's such an interesting juxtaposition of, of different effects here. Um, I'm assuming they're not going to be grabbing hardly anything from the far future as far as like the big robots. Um, let's check it out though because I am curious. It's almost like they're not even there. And so I'll be curious if like, you know, the all-star can push them. I'm curious about that. I'm curious if the all-star will even try to push them. So let's see. Um, we don't have all stars here, so that's not a good comparison. Um, <laughs> all right, let's just bring this in. I would like. Um, was there anything? Oh yeah, plant food. Sure. I mean, right now, I mean, we're basically just testing this stuff. You know what I mean? Like we're just kind of testing it. We're not really. Here, let's see. Oh, I'm just gonna put these here so I can trigger them all with uh, one of the plant foods. That would be interesting to me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here he is. We'll play something down in just a second here. I almost wonder if I can just use these without having to worry about, you know, other types. Like, only, I mean, without any other sun production, just only put these in. That could be interesting, obviously. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, they don't seem to make any sound at all when you plant them. All right. I, you know, I'm not sure I would use a plant like this, typically. I mean, if it's just going to slow down zombies and then also give me sun. I mean, there's so many other ways for me to get sun. And also, there's so many other ways to slow down zombies. Uh, you know, preferably, I would just take them out. So here, let's see what happens when we tang tangle them as a group. And the other ones do it too. Okay. Is it like a big old hug? I don't know. I don't even know if the other ones did anything, honestly. And plus, it's such a low level. I mean, sometimes they can't even take out... Like, they didn't even take out a whole... Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot about this. So, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, these, guys, these guys seem to try to attack him, but... 
Did they actually even attack them? I don't even know. Let's reach out and hug some of these guys. Uh, I really don't know why a few of them weren't even grabbed. Because I have like three zombies on this. Uh, Alright, we might have to... I can't even plant this. Why can't I even plant this? Oh, I have a plant limit. Okay. So, no. See these bots? Not the imp bots. The imp bots actually get caught up in these. But the other... This... this uh, Oof. Oof. This is tough. Yeah, okay. Some of these other bots are just totally caught up in this. There we go. I was able to plant that somehow. All right, let's do it again. They're not going to grab. I mean, they're not even going to try to grab or attack these guys and this guy's gonna roll right through him and like the it's interesting this plant is also like one of the plants like sometimes you'll see it like overlap the zombie when it's active and uh, that's something I never really see in this game yeah so I mean it's just one of those things they're not gonna be destroyed by these things but they're also not gonna interact with those bots so it's just one of the, I mean like how much do I care at this point you know like is he gonna even grab him he grabbed him good there's no real good way to attack these guys. I dug up one so I had space here. Can I, will this work on him? Oh, I got the wrong guy, I guess. I just, yeah. Again, if I had, if I wanted to, to beat these in other ways, like, look, look, I can just get, get rid of these guys. Get out of here. I'm trying something here. I'm trying, trying something out. Clearly, these things are impervious. Now, it's like he, it's like they do get hit or something sometimes, and then they just transparent. They don't die, which is really interesting. And yeah, I mean, get out of here. We're, we're done with you guys. Get out. Get out. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I can't take out the bots. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Lots of these zombies. Holy cow. But they produce a lot of sun when I do this. Now, will they do it again? Will they grab other ones? Or are they just going to... I don't know how they determine who to grab. But again, I can't defeat the bot. So get out of here, bot. Do whatever. Attack some of the, the, the other imps or whatever. Give me more plant food. This is, uh... Give them all big hugs for me. Oh, this guy might get out. No, 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 no. We can't have you get out. You know what? We're, we're done. We basically have won. I can't even flick them out when they're... I don't think I could flick them out. When the... Anyway, we won this one. Who cares? <laughs> this is just one big test. This is a really interesting plant. Again, not a plant that I'm, like, crazy about, but he's really interesting. He or she. I think it's a she. It looks like a she. Pretty eyes. <laughs> Skip ahead, please. And then, um, what are we gonna do? I guess we could take it. Um, you know, I I now wonder a lot of stuff. I mean, like, Dark Ages. Let's take it into the Dark Ages. Like, can they be transformed into sheep? Or are they just gonna be impervious to that too? I don't know. This is one of the shortest ones. I forget about that. 16. Night 16 is what we typically do on the Dark Ages. So let's find out. So, Tangler. Sundew Tangler. So I bet you anything it's not going to be able to attack. Here, instead of that, you know. What should I bring in? Like just, just in case I need something. Oh, that is, a, that is one thing I didn't think about, is that, um, well, we're probably going to need, they're probably going to do graves, and then those are going to be a real issue. But I'm kind of putting these, like, right up the front, but not where they're going to, the, the Kingmaker zombies are going to drop down on them. Not quite that. All right, we're running a little low. Let me use this. This will help, of course. It's like sometimes these things take out a whole zombie. 
Sometimes that, that, that one didn't even grow. There you go. Sucked him back a little bit. Here, you know, I know that you're not gonna. Yeah, so get out of here. So this is the problem. It's the problem right here. Um, the necromancy or whatever is gonna happen. Oh, he just put a helmet on him. That doesn't bode well for me, honestly. Let's get rid of him. There you go. He knighted you. I turned you into a monk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these helmets, they, these things are, are, are disastrous at times, but necromancy is going to happen, so these guys come up. It's fine. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I can't be having you with these. Uh... <laughs> here, let's just put that there. I mean, this is, this is a nightmare in, in a way. Thankfully, there's no limits on how many I have at the, on this stage. I've actually got him. I'm actually surprised by that. All right, so we're still going to be dealing with necromancy because I don't have a way to destroy those. I'm surprised. I thought I would find the wizards here. Am I wrong? I'm fast forward. There's wizards. So let's see. Let's see. Can the wizards hit them? This is going to be a really interesting thing. Are they like truly, truly impervious to all these like zombie attacks? I think so. The wizard isn't even doing anything. The zombies cannot touch these things. Can't believe it. Now they will grab the wizard, right? Interesting for sure. So yeah, we're uh, no, they won't grab the wizard. So they don't they're not even attacking the wizard. They don't like really attack any. Oh no, they are. Okay, never mind. Sorry, my bad. So they are attacking the wizard now. These zombies are having to go through a gauntlet of of these flowers here. It's pretty incredible. I kind of wish. Yeah, I mean, I could just use these to get the plants out quicker. But also, the zombies seem to be kind of holding up. So. Like the uh, the wizard zombies in particular seem to be holding up a little bit. Like they they're taking damage, but they're not they're losing arms. He's gonna have to move on to the next one. Okay, let's see what happens here. Holy moly! Okay, finally got him. Now some of these guys like I'm gonna have to fortify at the very end. Oh, see, of course he takes care of that one. Oh my gosh! Here, wake up! We need to start choking these zombies. Oh boy. Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna make it through. Whoa. Yeah, that was sad because that yeah, the, the zombie actually I mean the wizard zombie actually did transform uh the sage into a sheep or whatever. So now I'm kind of like out of space. Final wave, yeah. Necromancy. I mean they're just going through this gauntlet of these things. And it's taking time. <laughs> That's the only one for the wizard to attack. All right. I think we're going to be okay, though, because we have lawnmowers everywhere else. Wow. I just can't believe that there's... Yeah, so the lawnmower is going to attack this guy up here. And the lawnmower actually sidestepped that, that wizard zombie. I don't know how. So, yeah, I mean, we're just patiently waiting through this. This is this is a unique plant in how it interacts with zombies. I haven't seen a plant like this that just doesn't it interacts with the zombies, but not every zombie, not the gargantuars, obviously. Um, and it doesn't. Also, the zombies can't really interact with it, and that's just something unique that I haven't. I don't think I've really seen much of in this game. Maybe a little bit. It's, you know, there's so many plants. There's like what a million plants in this game? No, I don't know how many plants. There's a lot of plants, and it's just stuff like I haven't really seen it. Go ahead and attack these guys. Do we have to take care of the Kingmaker, or is he just going to sit there? I think we will be okay. Get him. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so I think his head just popped up off the uh, his arm and head. He just dies at the end. So, um, I mean, the only other question that I have, and I think I already know the answer, but pretty much the only other question I have is what happens on Big Wave Beach? I'm, I'm assuming I can't just plant them in the water. 
Um, but I'm curious. I, I'm assuming the octopus zombies won't be able to throw octopus on them. I assume. But you never know. But let's check it out. Uh, Big Wave Beach. And this was... Uh, let's just go in here uh, to one of the later levels as well. And we're going all the way to 20... I think it's 28 that I do. This is the... Sundew Tangler. And then what stage is this? No, this is not to lose plants. Well, that's interesting because I can have the Sundew Tangler and the Sundew Tangler does not lose plants. Um, let's see. I wish that this... Man, so I can't really use this. I can't use this. can't use this. I can use that. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe I will just try, like, you know, I don't really, hmm. Hmm. I guess, okay, sorry, I'm just thinking what else I can do here. I'll probably, I mean, man. The infinite, probably, I mean, I always bring in the infinite, I always bring in the, the lily pad here. I, I don't think I'm going to get, like, too many answers, because cause the, uh, ah, uh, man. The, okay, the stipulation here of not losing plants is annoying. But we typically do this one when we, when we showcase this. I'm trying to remember where the infinite is. There we go. I just don't want to lose any plants. That's the main thing. Don't lose plants. Don't lose plants. That's what they always say. Don't lose plants. If we get really dire, we could use a time warp, even though it counts as losing a plant. Uh, all right. Let's drop that out there. I mean, sure, but the, I just, I just not see. So obviously, I can't plant it in there. But okay, let's just test this. What happens if I put it up here and put this here? Is he gonna need to? He's obviously gonna still target the lily pad, right? I'm curious. Be funny if it didn't even target the lily pad at this point. I imagine I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, put more up front. No, no, no! Don't eat the lily pad, dude. He, dude. Okay, when they're on the lily pad, the zombie doesn't eat even eat them. Okay, this has caused me to have a question. So I'm gonna put these here. Now he's walking past him like it's no big deal. Going for a hug, please. Okay, he's gone, that's good. Man, there's, okay, yeah, this is not great. Lily pad, lily. I need more, really, is what I need. I need a lot more. So she's walking past him. Now she can eat this lily pad though, right? Oh wait, she's not gonna eat this lily pad. She's gonna walk on top of it because it's in, okay. You know what? Send him back. I don't mind losing a plant just like once. Send him back for a second. That it didn't send this one back. The one that was trapped did not get sent back. A lot of weird interactions here that we're seeing. I don't quite. All right, there you go. Oh, this one's still here. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, gone. Good. It's, in, it's interesting that they don't even care about the lily pad. This guy just swam right through it. He did not even care about the lily pad because this thing was on it. That is so intriguing. I don't even know what to say. All right, so he's coming up now because of the, lily, the, the, the shore. And he's just gonna walk up to it. It's not gonna be a big deal, I guess. This is such a curious plant. I'm I'm really curious how the fisherman zombies are gonna interact with this. They're gonna be popping up soon, right? You know what? Here, just get rid of a few of these. I'm done for now with those guys. I can't even flick look, I can't even flick the guy trapped. Well now now I can. But when they're trapped, I can't even flick them away. They're like totally trapped. All right, how's a surfboard zombie interact with them? 
Doesn't interact at all. And I don't even know if these guys will grab him. Will you? Okay, he flipped out because of. All right, will he? Will he plant? Will he plant the surfboard in there? Or is he just gonna be surprised by this? I don't even know, dude. I'm gonna put one up in the front. See what happens. Because if these guys pop up, the fisherman zombies pop up. What happens? All right, one popped up right there. He's trying to pull him, but nothing's happening. Dude, so these... These would be interesting. Like, you could basically block. You could block the fisherman zombies with these, seemingly. You could just put one of these in the front, and the fisherman zombie will not be able to do anything. That's really powerful for the Big Wave Beach. That's something that we're just learning now. That's really interesting. Look, he's trying, but he can't do a thing. Can I plant on him? I can't plant on him. Wow. Now, obviously, I think that the that the uh, the octopus zombies will probably just throw an octopus on the mushrooms that I have right now. But I don't need the mushrooms, so let, let's let's actually ditch these really quick. Oh dang it! No, why did I do that? <laughs> I just oh my gosh! <laughs> I forgot the challenge. This guy is just surfing. He's not even going to be attacked at all. Well, he fell, but because he hit the shoreline. Okay, can can we grab? Okay, we can grab the fisherman zombies with those. All right. Man, I, I'm so dumb. I cannot believe. Here, I'm gonna have to flick these guys away. Hold on. Let's just flick. I can't flick the these guys. Okay. Whatever. I forgot about like not losing plants. I just like deleted four plants. All right, now while he has a surfboard, he can still be grabbed. Okay. All right, now here's here's the tide. So yeah, this is I mean this is something here, right? Wow. Now here I'm just you know what I, I can't flick some of these guys. So wait, is, the octopus zombie got trapped somehow. No, no, no. I have to get... No. I won't let me flick the surfer guy right now. He's gonna... He's seriously gonna do this, and I can't flick him. I cannot touch this guy, dude. I have him here. Flick him! Okay, th thank you. This is just... I mean, I'm just experimenting here. What happens if we just don't... You know, like... Well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, actually, that, that's a good question. If I can actually... Here, let me let me just expedite this really quick. I want these guys gone for a second so I can test more things, test more theories out. I don't care how many coins this costs me. But you see all the coins I have, right? I don't really care how many coins this costs me. I want to. Okay, we have to deal with this really quick. Now, hold on. They they actually popped up on. Oh wow! They actually popped up on these things, and now they're getting trapped. Now the gargantuars aren't going to touch them at all. So we just have to pretty much. Oh, we can't we can't even get rid of the gargantuar. That's sad. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Probably like this. Probably just throw that at the gargantuar. Oh, I didn't mean to hit oh I hit so many of those. Whoops. My bad. I didn't mean to actually hit those guys. <laughs> uh the, the I was gonna do a test. I was gonna do a test to see if they would uh try to pull something away. Here, get I'm trying to expedite this. Get out of here, guys. So Right now we just have oh, they're they're dead. Okay. Never mind. Now, I mean, this is interesting. This is a really intriguing plant. A lot of weird interactions going on. I'm sure there's a lot that I haven't even discovered. Um but it seems like you can like you can like you saw that. Like the fisherman zombie seemed to be seemed to be being blocked by it. Zombies can't hurt it. It can hurt zombies, but it won't not even the fire zombies can't burn it down. So That's really interesting um, Okay, well, that's that's cool. I don't know how much I would use it Maybe like there would I could maybe foresee like an arena Where like putting those down could be like cause some confusion with the zombies or something create a special case for a high score I don't know but if you guys have any other ideas or any other discoveries that no one's talked about or that, you know, someone else has talked about, let me know in the comments below because I really want to see what you came up with. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time for more. Goodbye.
I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching, you can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games, and if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.